Chef, we have some egg and mushroom, very simple pot sticker style Yum. dumplings today. Now, unlike you, I don't love to make the dough. <laughs> and I love the convenience of things like a rice paper wrap. Yeah. So they're always in the cupboard to make up those fresh Vietnamese spring rolls, or in this case, the dumpling. But I'm going to make them with lots of protein from the eggs today and all those delicious flavours from the mushrooms. So if I could get your help mm -hmm. chopping up the shallots, the cabbage and the mushrooms. Sure. There's a couple of different types of mushrooms in there, a button mushroom and an anoki mushroom. Both bring such different flavour to the dish and Completely I love different, hey? that. Yeah, and also texture and, you know, the consistency. Yeah. The little anoki are like little noodles to me. They are. The button mushrooms have so much more meatiness to them, so they really do change up how you experience the dumpling as well. I love mushrooms. They're such a great ingredient to cook with, especially when you're looking to keep it vegetarian, right? That's right. And this is a really good one because there is a really good source of protein. So it is something that I'd whip up to have at lunch. Yeah. You can keep it just as a fresh kind of roll. So you don't mm. have to fry it if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. And it works a treat. But if you love that crispiness that a pot sticker brings to the table, then a little bit of a fry up and a, it makes yeah. a bit of crunch on the gives outside. Gives you that texture, the textural difference. Yeah, gives that to you. So I'm just coating the pan with some sesame oil because I want to have that um, beautiful flavour come into the dumplings as well. And you need pretty generous coating so that you don't have any of the omelette sticking to the pan. It's important you have the omelette come out whole because once it's cooked, we're going to roll it up and shred it to then pop it into our dumplings. So there's about six eggs in here. I love eggs. Obviously, everyone thinks about eggs for protein, but eggs are also a lovely source of iron for vitamin D and also for a nutrient that's not ever much spoken about, which is choline, which is imp really important for cognition and brain function. So lots of great nutrition in eggs. Also, just one of the simplest proteins to get into dishes, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. And can't you can get it, it any time of the day. Yeah. Like, it's not just for breakfast. Lunch, dinner. Snacks. I love eggs as, as a part of any meal. Yeah. All right, the omelette's basically almost ready to flip. I'm questioning my flipping capability at this stage. Yeah, you can do it, Jack. Oh, one, two, three. Whee! Beautiful. <laughs> and we'll pull it off because the egg will continue to cook. I just needed a little bit of a sizzle on the other side and mostly cooked on the one side. And we'll get it over here. So we'll let that cool a little bit. Keep our pan on a medium to high heat. And the beauty of the veggies and how we've kept everything of a similar size is that they'll all cook at a similar rate. So they really don't need much time at all in cooking here. Just a little drizzle of olive oil in there. Then we'll go straight in with the shallots or spring onions, depending on what state you're from. The cabbage. This is a wombok cabbage, but you know, get creative, use whatever you've got on hand. And then all of our mushies. And then we'll get those anoki too, please, Chef. Just pulled apart? Yeah. Perfect. And then the garlic and some grated ginger. Look, I'm a big fan of ginger. I love it as a flavour, but also the warming elements mm. it brings to a dish. A very natural anti-inflammatory food as yeah. well, garlic and ginger. So really nice one to be including in your meals. Generous amount of garlic and a couple of teaspoons of the fresh grated ginger. So we'll toss all of our ingredients together, let it cook down, add a bit of soy sauce. Thank you. So a tablespoon or so of the soy sauce, a bit of salt and pepper for some extra seasoning. Love that. It looks so, so quick and easy to cook as well. You've got this beautiful green vibrancy coming through from the cabbage and the spring onions. And the ginger, can and you smell ginger, it? Can, oh, I was a bit generous beautiful. on the ginger today. You can never be too generous with the ginger. <laughs> so we'll let that cook down. We'll slice up the omelette and then it's dumpling time. The exciting bit, dumpling filling time. Yeah, so we've got on. our rice paper wrappers, which we'll just need to soak in water. Now, for each dumpling, you'll need two. So you'll do your initial wrap, 
and then you'll wrap it again just so it's lovely and secure because these are a little bit more fragile, mm -hmm. especially when they go back into the pan with some oil to cook. So you just want to reinforce them as such. So that's soaked and we pop it down. Now I have a theory, your first dumpling's never really your best. <laughs> Same as your first pancake. That's right. Always sticks, right? Lower the expectation on your first. <laughs> just get the hang of it so you know how much, you know, of the mixture you're wanting to put in. Yeah. You have a little play around with your technique. Are you an overstuffer like me? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> And it gets slippery, you know, these things are slippery little dumplings. So we just want to have a little practice run for our first. Lay it out flat so it's like a little envelope instead of a roll as such. And then scoop it up tightly. And then we get our second rice paper wrap to reinforce it so that when we fry, all the delicious bits in the inside aren't exploding out the edges. Beautiful. Okay, we'll reinforce it, moving in the opposite direction to how we initially folded it. So that it just gets reinforcement Stronger. from all sides. Yeah. But you know what? As we experience with all dumplings, no two dumplings turn out the same. So you just gotta <laughs> play around and make them work for you. But, but that that's one's the fun. Yeah, that one's turned out pretty well. Beautiful. So we'll make the rest of our dumplings, heat up the pan with some oil and then get frying. These are looking golden. You make me so hungry, Crunchy. Here, Jack. There's only a few things that I fry like this, right? Dumplings are an exception like yeah. these, but again, you could eat these without frying them and they'd be delicious. pretty much just as delicious. I've been snacking on the side, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing my cauliflower schnitzel like this, but other than that, all the oil and everything else going on in the pan, I'll yeah. leave to, you know, you. <laughs> All right, we're going to mix together a soy and hot chilli dipping sauce. Yum. So if you'd like to do that for me, Chef, we'll yeah, let these sure. cool down and then we can try them. We've got our yummy soy and very well spiced <laughs> dipping sauce going on I there. I like it hot. Not shy. <laughs> They're beautiful, Jack. Yeah, they're good fun, you know? Yeah. Good little, could be a party starter, could be something you make on a weekend for lunch. You know when you always have people over and you want those snacks on the table when everyone arrives? It's a beautiful one for that. Goody. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut one open so everyone can have a little look inside. But I don't get the feeling that's what you're gonna do. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's a nice little bit of crispiness. Mm. You can hear the juiciness on the inside. There we go. Our egg and mushroom dumplings made in the pan pretty easily. Delicious. Absolutely beautiful. Yum. Mm.